don't understand clearly. Is he a rapper or an actor from the Big Bang Theory? <laughs> He looks the part, it's meant to be. You're the last unlucky fucker on the bleeding human centipede. <laughs> You're the result of crusty cheese that dropped off your daddy's willy when he hadn't got washed in weeks. <laughs> you popped out during a funny fart in bed and almost fucking drowned when you're out and washed the sheets. <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you wind up broke, homeless, and hopelessly walk the streets. I hope you find a mystery girl who looks blissful and pearls and when you think she's a ward, you get roped into watching Grease. I'm so good looking, I create puddles around the ankles of nuns. Well, fear of kids who look like Nash make girls shove hangers up cunts. Uh, and since you have a mate named Genesis, I brought religious references. You see, I'm godly a beast, a hillbilly cleavis looking freak like you, giving me grief as like a six year old altar boy abusing a priest. <laughs> he said I'd McGregor my way through this, remember? That attitude is so folly. I call this league owner a bad word. A lack of gratitude I've shown probably. I fell out with most of the roster, now half these dudes might go for me. So I'm gonna take this moment to apologize to absolutely no one! That nose is so fat that when it rains and it's thundering, midgets and small kids take shelter standing under it. You want to be talking for it, you need to speak so carefully. Haha, <laughs> your body type is chemotherapy. <laughs> <laughs> This is my exhibition. You're the cheap man's definition. That's my definition. I bet, I bet you've stolen high to extra vision. Take home the dark night to watch in high definition. Bring deaf, bring deaf to beg for scraps like high definition. Save me some of Pedro with a cry definition. Man, you're never the main event. Guess why? Definition. Your lead on is the reason you're here and you betrayed him. Don't say it wasn't like that. You used Matt to get ahead and you were all in my chat. Show me a debut battle bar, say you were in life flat. Oi, distant, you snaked them, mate, you're borderline rat. What's the difference between me and you? I'm responsible for every feather that I've got in my cap, and your eyes should have a tattoo that says sponsored by Mac. <laughs> <laughs> No wonder Matt booked you against the goat of the scene. No wonder he sent you to the UK and let you flow with the scene. No wonder you overachieved when he was on the scene, but he's gone. Matt don't phase me, Patrick Swayze, he's a ghost on the scene. Bro, I don't even know what you're walking all around all aggro for, brother. I have to defend your fucking honor. The lad said he's fucking garbage. They said you had to speak in pediment. I said, nah. I said, nah, you're just retarded. You had an operation recently. That's the only successful shit you've ever done with your life. You think, <laughs> it, 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 you you think I've come as a child? I'm not gonna even slag that off. I say that you and Mickey boy are husband and wife, but you're pretty fucking close. Like he's the love of your life and he's got Kate and Jenna B because he already had tits when he went under the knife. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with this? Cop on you brick. This is England. Fight back. This is your house. I got the control in my hand to feed her up on your couch. I'm eating your potatoes. <laughs> I came ready for this fight, so tell my pop I ate my spinach. I'd be in magic in the skies like Draco Malfoy playing Quidditch. But you're a bottom tier kidney snatcher. Fact. <laughs> just that. A slagging an illness will have an illness, that's their funeral. She said if an Asperger's angle don't be polarized. I said Asper usual. I'm glad this isn't golf, because if it was him having a handicap with me, we're on par. <laughs> Man, are you kidding me? At this rate, them SJWs be glad to get rid of me. Hey, my fault. Facts. I told the matchmakers, give me someone else who had disability. He misunderstood and gave me someone who had a disability. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that I'm mad that I don't respect him. I'm just happy he's on the spectrum. Sorry. No. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually not. Well, I already know that. I just can't give a damn. If there's a title on the line, this is Bandyman's line. You'll catch a sharp left hook like the candy man. <laughs> you're, a, you're a confused old lady. It must be true with life. It's bland. You wrote your will before your rounds, and who am I to know your plans? <laughs> Would you want me to take it serious? Because you want to start acting like you dropped a pair of balls and start thinking that it's do or die for grand? Grand, think Robin Williams after Mrs. Delfoy. I know this funny old woman's just a suicide on man. <laughs> you were on the nationwide ads. Woo! Yeah. The nationwide ads. Well, in the words of me, daddy loved Jesus. I battled big names before, but little lassie, you're famous. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the big leagues now. Oh, the A-list. I can just taste any minute now. The heavens are going to open up, the roof's coming up, and dad's going to look down and be like, lad, you just made it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Listen, it's all right. You're shagging all the lads, love. Everybody gets horny, so fuck it. It's just a wee sin. But as for me, I'll pass on head. So go ahead and keep your teeth in. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm going to tea bag you. You filthy fucking key bag you. I bet you Randy. I caught her eyeing up that money maker, but Granny's closer to a tombstone. I'm running with the undertaker. Oh, <laughs> no, oh, your dad was a caveman. <laughs> 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 that motherfucker literally seen the invention of the wheel. Let's define the age gap between us. If I choke, well, that's a choke. That's gonna get me in the fields. If she chokes, then it's proof she got dementia for real. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. But listen, I didn't lay hands on the woman once during this battle. And no matter how harsh I've been, you have to say I kinda got respect. That's why I went three rounds without once trying to finger that vagina on her neck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh I'm sorry. Oh I'm sorry. Yo, serious. You think you're the only little pick from a council kit with a mouth that spits? You're the only one that says Oscars when it sounds his kid. Whether it's Mandy, Patsy, Boogies, Bottles, Gardens, Pardon, you think I ain't about this shit. I was selling all that when you were about this big. <laughs> Shut up, little guy, your nipple height. Take this group for the pussy. Sneaky cunt. <laughs> seven and a half men. Look at it, it was only four kids, okay? One was 26. What the fuck was with the Deanie cunt? That's not three and a half men. That's three kids and a creepy cunt. <laughs> I'm about the man's right about advice. I tried to give him advice. I told him when he's walking in the jungle, don't be guessing where the snakes are. But your mate told me that your board stopped your rapping, bro. Question who your mates are. No! no. no. Look at his head, I'm in his shadow. You were never in his radar. Your board stopped your rapping. That's reminding me of Hey Carl. <laughs> Everest, and you never had a, a, a hope of climbing. I'm no Mount Rushmore and battle rap, but I am among the goats in Ireland. Don't be lying. I know you're flying for the peaks. I mean, I get it, bro. You're so defiant. But if I'm a mountain and Irish battle rap, you can hear the die like Kobe Bryant. Oh. Yeah. Remember what I said about moral high ground? I said I'll bring it back with rhyming, my son. I'm unapologetic, because I don't give a crap once my assignment got done. See, I'm no scumbag. I don't live by the gun, so I won't die by the gun, but I live like a cunt. And I've got absolutely no bother dying like one. Have a nice night.